Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel. Lo Belt Limits. This video is going to be a full body resistance band workout with me. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. Quick housekeeping before we get started. One, allergies are as bad as they can be. So if you see me crying, it's just my eyes get very, very watery. Two, I am going to eventually change to Life with Low. It's something that I've been thinking about for like a longish time at this point. So if you see that in the coming weeks, just doing a little rebrand. And three, regarding the workout itself, since it is a resistance band workout, I'm using these long loopy ones if you just have like the long flat ones that also works but definitely long ones are what you want not just like the hip circles or the tiny little ones so i will have these or some similar linked down below in the description box they're just from amazon you can probably find them at target you can definitely shop the link down below it helps me you give me like five cents when you do it but no crush the set that i have and that i'll link has four different thicknesses so this is the thinnest second thinnest and then it goes all the way up to these bad boys which not gonna lie i ain't touching for this one the last few workouts with me i've been doing reps we're going back to time for this one we're gonna do three different sets three times for each one the first set is only two exercises but it's a left and right so i'm counting it as three exercises and then the other two are three actual exercises. For the most part, these exercises are 30 seconds each. There'll be a timer down below on one of these corners. That way you can follow along and when the timer starts, I'll add a little beep. That way you know when it is beginning. There are two exercises though that are like a two in one. I made those ones 45 seconds each just so we can pump out a few extra reps. But with that being said, we're going to get into that first set. This one again is just two exercises, but the first one is a left and a right where you're doing static lunges and then we're doing a 45 second exercise which is going to be a hip hinge row with the really light one but we are going to double it up if it's too hard double it up then you can just use one and you'll have like extra slack at the top we're just going to do some static lunges so starting off with your weaker foot put the strap again doubled or single depending on what you need right at the arch of your foot we're going to step the back leg back and then for 30 seconds, we're literally just going down and up, having a little bit of tension in this as you are doing it. So we're gonna start in three, two, one. And while you're doing this, keeping your chest up and really feeling it in your front quad. And you're also gonna feel it in that front glute a little bit too. For me, this is my left side. Just got 10 seconds left. Ooh, make sure you got some balance. Okay, last one for me. There we go. And then we're switching to the other side. Another 30 seconds. Stepping that leg back. And we'll go in three, two, one. Although it's just a static lunge and you don't have any weight, it is challenging. We're about halfway through. Let's get one more out. Good job. That is that. And then the second and final exercise for this first set is hip hinge to row. So sticking with that band, doubling it up under your feet, both feet, starting off standing tall, having the ends of it in each hand. You hip hinge, we're not hunching, we're hinging. So this is the bottom of that. When you're at the bottom, and now this is like a little loose, you row back, pinching those shoulder blades together, release down, stand back up. You're pushing your hips up, but you're not pushing them so far to where you bend in your lower back. This one we're doing for 45 seconds since it's a twofer. And we'll go in three, two, one. Hinge, row, down, up. Again, if it's too challenging, even with the light band doubled up, you can just have it holding it with one band under your foot 
and you'll just have some extra slack at the top. About halfway done. When you row, make sure you feel that pinch. Your shoulders are going straight back. Last one. Good job. So that is that first set. We're gonna do it two more times, take a quick break, pause the video, and I'll see you right back here. Getting ready for round two. Again, we're starting off with the static lunges, but right over that, stepping that leg back, and we're gonna do 30 seconds of lunges on this front foot for three, two, one, down. about halfway done. Just try to get out one or two more here. Last one, good job. Switching sides. Boop, boop, boop. Getting a nice lunge. We're going down in three, two, one. Again, keeping your chest upright. Shoulders back and down. Just a few more seconds left. Let's get off one more. There we go. And then our 45 seconds of hip hinge to row. Staying nice and tall, but you're not sticking the booty out. Nice, tall, core braced at this top position. 45 seconds, three, two, one. Back up. You're sticking the butt out, but keeping your core braced. Hinge, a little bend in the knee. Hinge, pinching the shoulders together. Elbows are going straight back. Halfway done. Almost there, last 10 seconds. Let's get up one more. Good job. Quick pause and then we're just doing that one more time. Final round of this first set. Going with those final static lunges, starting off on your weaker foot, getting your balance. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Who else doesn't like lunges? Raise your hands, but not right now while you're doing lunges, raise them after in the comments. All right, let's get out one more. Good job. Last set on the other side. In three, two, one. Almost done with the lunges. Halfway done with these lunges. All right, less than 10 seconds left. Let's get out. One more, good job. And then our last set of the hip hinges, two rows. Who are going 45 seconds in three, two, one. Hinge, row, down, up.
halfway down, hinge, row, down, up, keeping your core braced. 10 more seconds. Let's make this the last one. Nice, good, nice, slow resistance. Good job. And that is the end of the first set. Take a longer break, a minute or so if you need, and then we'll get into our next set of three exercises. So I'm gonna use the same light band again for all of these exercises. The first one is a two first. We're gonna go 45 seconds for that one. It's a squat high pull, which I shall explain shortly. And then we are doing overhead tricep extensions, 30 seconds, and we're doing front shoulder raises, 30 seconds. So starting off with those squat high pulls. So you're just gonna take your band once around because you need it nice and long. Boop, boop. If you don't have a circle you one, then you can just hold the other side. If you do have a circle one, you're gonna hold it like this, like a little X. For this, we're going squat, just a regular little squat. And at the top, we're pulling these up. We're working on a lot of shoulder work today. I love working shoulders, so that's what you guys are doing too. And because it's a two for again, 45 seconds, we're gonna do it in three, two, one. Squat down, all right, and then you come back up. Down, up. You can get more challenging by a wider stance. Up, up. If you want to work the quads more, you can do a more narrow stance. We're about halfway done with this. And again, if you want more challenging, I'm realizing this is Pretty easy with the light band for me. So round two, I might go with the thicker band. You have 10 more seconds. All right, let's get out one more, two more, last one. Good job. So next one's overhead tricep extensions, 30 seconds. Put your band behind you and step on it with one foot, the other foot, and then Get it, move your hair out of the way to where you're holding it. Just like you're holding a dumbbell, you're just going to expand, extend your arms all the way up, trying not to move your elbows, trying not to grab your hair in the process. We're gonna do this one for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Extend, working those triceps. This is your only tricep exercise I have in this because they're small muscles. They don't need a ton of work. We're halfway done with these 30 seconds. It's a nice, not a super long range of motion. It's a nice challenge. Let's get out two more and last one. Good job. And then the other one, front shoulder raises, putting your feet back in there. Having a wide stance, the wider your stance, the more tension there's going to be on the band and for 30 seconds you're just going to raise your shoulders up trying not to do anything weird with your back but we'll start in three two one up keeping your shoulders make sure your shoulders like your actual shoulders don't go up to your ears you're keeping your blades in the same spot but you're moving your arms up that way you can work those front delts a wider stance gives you more tension, more challenge. A more narrow stance gives you a little bit more slack in the band, which will make it a little bit easier. Good job. So that is the first round of the second set. We're gonna do it two more times to take your quick little break. Okay, as I mentioned, I wanted a bit more of a challenge on those squat to high pulls. So I'm gonna go one heavier we're gonna start that second round starting with the squat to high pulls narrow stance more quads wider stance more glutes especially those glute meads we're gonna do this for 45 seconds starting in three two one squat down high pull yeah this is the tension i want that's why it's good to buy bands in a set like this because 
just gives you more options without having to one off buy or something's too hard or too easy and you're like, man, I wish I had more options. You just get them all at once. All right, we have about 10 more seconds of this one. Again, when you're high pulling, don't bring your shoulders up to your ears. This one's working your side delts when you do it. And let's get one more out. Good job. And now going back to my light one, we are doing those overhead tricep extensions. We're gonna do 30 seconds of tricep extension starting in three, two, one. Up. All right, we have about 10 seconds left. Going nice and slow, making sure those elbows aren't moving. Let's get out two more. Last one. Good job. Whew. Wave the sweat off, wave the sweat off. 30 seconds of those front shoulder raises. Standing in your band, shoulders nice tucked down. We're gonna start raising in three, two, one. Even just standing and making sure your lower back isn't doing anything weird. This is a good deep core exercise. All those deep core muscles that actually stabilize your bones, stabilize your vertebrae. The ones that when you're doing exercises, you don't like think about because they're not the abs that you see, but they're the ab muscles that are important. And last one. And that is second round of the second set. Again, quick pause. See you for round three shortly. Going in for this last round, squat to high pulls, getting your band. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds and we'll start in three, two, one. Squat. Also for this, that so you can't see my side, when I'm coming up, I'm just coming up to the top, not overextending those glutes. Just like how I showed in the hip hinge. You don't wanna overextend. Halfway through. Maybe now that you're a bit more warmed up, your squats can get lower for these last few. Let's do two more, one more, and good job. Last 30 seconds of overhead tricep extensions. And that there. Getting this here, and we are gonna start in three, two, one. Up. Yeah, I like this one. Though I love working out my triceps. Even before I start, my hands holding this band, they start shaking. I don't know about you guys. The move itself isn't challenging, but just holding this band with so much tension. Whew, all right, we got 15 seconds left. You should definitely like, make them count. All right, let's get out one more. Good job. For the last time, we are doing those front raises. Again, in your stance. Last 30 seconds. We'll start in three, two, one. Keep in your core, braced and steady. If you do that, no matter what exercise you do, if you remember to keep your core braced and steady, you'll always be getting a deep core workout, which is cool. All right, get those last few out. Last one, good job. And as a wrap on the second set, pause, take a little bit of a longer break, and then we just have one more set to go. Now for this final round, we are pretty much on the floor, which is why I grouped them together, because I didn't want to move my camera back and forth. Hip bridges with the band across our body, which I will explain shortly chest presses with the band, and shoulder pull-aparts, which will get those rear delts a little bit of your mid-back too. 
but mainly rear delt. So again, starting off with this one, all of these ones are just 30 seconds each. And let's get started. For the hip bridges, since this is a resistance band only workout, we're not having any weights, dumbbells, plates. Instead, we're just gonna hold the bands in our hands. We're gonna have our hands flat on the floor. Sometimes I usually like to do with my hands up just so it's like more mind-muscle connection to my hamstrings and glutes. But for this, you need your hands on the ground. You can either hold it closer, and this is gonna give you more tension, even if you have a lighter band, or you can hold it further apart this will make it a little bit easier and will also allow you to go a little bit higher up depending on your strength. Feet planted closer, more challenging, further apart, easier. You just keeping your hands down and having them pulled down as that tension. This is the hip bridge. So we're just gonna do this for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Give a nice little squeeze. When you're at the top there. Having that squeeze in your hamstrings as well. Thinking of your knees driving straight out. Everything's rotating outwards. One and last one, two. Good job. Now we're going in for the chest press. So for this one, taking those bands, basically like right at your armpit line. And you can hold the bands inside, makes it a little bit easier. Nice and centered, again, shoulders down, having your hands up and then we're just pressing up. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one. I'm sure you're feeling it in your chest. Resistance is making it hard as you go up, but don't just let it slam back down. Use your muscles to provide resistance on the way back down. Let's get out the last one and then one more. Good job. And the last exercise is band pull aparts. So if it's too challenging with this one still, you can just go one across or you can go both across. You can also hold it in more, that way you can get a wider range of motion, but that will again make it more challenging. So holding your hands out, palms facing down, you're just going to pull until it's pretty much straight across your chest. We're going to do that for 30 seconds, keeping the shoulders nice and down, not coming up to your ears. Starting in three, two, one. And this is really going to work out those rear delts. And it's a move that looks so easy, and it is so hard. Quite the challenge. Halfway through. All right, yeah, five seconds left. Let's bust out two more, and one more. Good job. And that is the first round of this final set. I did have to make a lot of edits in this little bit because I started having a cough attack, but pause the video, drink your water, and we're gonna do it two more times. Round two of this final set, starting off with those 30 seconds of hip bridges, getting yourself nice and comfy, shoulders tucked back and down, band pulled across, feet nice and planted on the ground, and 30 seconds starting in three, two, one. Up, squeeze. And the more you hold the band down, the harder it's going to be. You want to make sure you can get this full range of motion at the top. Nice little squeeze at the top in your glutes and hamstrings, but you still want to have some good tension from the band going across your hips. Let's get up two more. Last one. Good job. And a quick transition over to the chest presses. Getting your hands in the band and pressing up and for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Up. I think around three, I might go with the heavier band for this one, just to give myself that final challenge. 15 seconds left. 
making sure you have the resistance coming back down too. Don't just make it easy. All right, let's get up two more here. Last one. Good job. And popping yourself up for those band pull-aparts. Just another 30 seconds with these. Getting your bands all situated. Holding them out in front. And we'll start in three, two, one. Pull. Again, making sure you're not just letting your hands snap back together, having tension the whole way through. We'll make this a nice, challenging exercise. About 15 seconds left. It's crazy how fast 30 seconds goes. When you sprinkle in 45 seconds, it almost seems like, wow, 30 seconds is really fast. Let's make this the last one. Good job, and that is second round of this last set just one more time and then we are good to go here we go last round I'm doing 30 seconds of those hip thrusts grabbing your band feet planted again closer for more of a challenge having your hands with the bands planted and we'll go up in three two one up again that little squeeze at the top Knees pointing out. If you really want to make this a challenge, you can do it single leg, but we've done a lot of work today, so let's not go too crazy. All right, about a few seconds left. Let's get this the last one up. Good final squeeze and back down. Now going into 30 seconds of chest press. Again, I'm going to try it with a slightly heavier band getting this one back there and in and in oof I can already tell this is gonna be challenging all right having it lined up right at your pits 30 seconds starting in three two one hmm, not too bad halfway through Ooh, really feeling it. Doable, but I'm feeling it in my chest now. Let's get out two more reps. One more rep. All done. Good job. And then last but not least, goodbye. The band pull aparts. Again, shoulders tucked down, not coming up to your ears. Hands out, and we'll start in three, two, one. a little closer to give a bit more tension. Really feeling it in those rear delts, but also a bit that mid back there, right between your shoulder blades. That will help you with posture. Let's get out one more. Good job. And we're all done. I know it was a bit of a longer one, but it was full body, so you did hit a little bit of everything. And again, just using resistance bands, so doing it at home, at the gym, at a hotel room, they're super easy to travel with. So I do hope you enjoyed that. I don't wanna keep you here any longer, but definitely stretch it out, drink water, have your protein shake, whatever you need to do so you don't feel super sore tomorrow, and just keep it up keep it moving, and let me know what other workouts you want to see. I do really enjoy doing these. So with that being said, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, a comment down below what other workouts you wanna see, and what else you wanna see here on my channel in general. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I'll put a new video every other Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.